All right, fam, so we are back at it again with another crazy video. Now, this right here, okay, I promise y'all, bro, y'all don't want to miss this podcast. Y'all need to go in the link box below and go watch this full podcast that we finna react to, okay? We never react to the whole thing, but I want y'all to really go watch the entire podcast. This is the Tucker Carlson Show, and he had my boy Vince Ellison on the podcast. So this is Vince Ellison exposed the live soul to black America, MLK, hip-hop culture, and the Democrats, okay? But this is the, the clip that we're going to be reacting to is him talking about Trump, okay? Him talking about Trump. This junk is good, okay? So I need y'all boys to hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. And like I said, please go watch the entire podcast because it was really, really good, bro. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. Started with our George Floyd interview, and it's then, and then black people started paying attention, and now it's just it's leaving. And Joe Joe Biden's in a panic. The Democrats are in a panic. This is catastrophic for them. No Republican has gotten over 20% of the black vote. Nobody's gotten over 15%. If, if Trump gets 20% of the black vote, the Democratic Party is done forever. Do you think he has a chance? Oh, I think he's got a chance to get more. Um, I, I'm, I, my, my, my next podcast coming out this Tuesday is going to be Donald Trump, the, 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 the true first black president. <laughs> Because the Democrats have finally done to Donald Trump what they've been doing to black men for 200 years. What they did to Donald Trump in New York is the Rodney King tape of the Democratic Party coming out, coming after white Anglo-Saxon Protestants. Most coups start at the top. They don't start at the bottom. We very seldom see a Mao Zedong coup where they fight for 20 years. And, right. You know, usually they go and shoot the in the head they shoot and then take over like they're doing in Africa right now, right? Yeah. They go to the top and just kill him and he's in charge. That's what they try to do to Trump. Trump is not just the leader of the Republican Party. Trump is the leader of, of white Anglo-Saxon Protestants who these people despise and hate. They have a, a an enemy that they're trying to kill. And it is the white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. It's not that they dislike him. The evangelicals, and, and the, they despise them. If you put that group and you talk about what they agree with and, and about what the Democrats and liberals agree with, polar opposites, direct polar opposites. And they know that Trump is the leader of that crew, that crowd. That crowd is his basis. That crowd is where he gets all of his power. And they know that if they take out Trump, who's going to take his place? Mm. Who can walk up right now if Donald Trump is destroyed in the Republican Party and says, and have that crowd come behind him like they've come behind Trump? I don't think the person exists, and they know that. And so this was how, how, how the Democratic Party does a coup. They don't use bullets. They use the justice system. I mean, look at who they locked. They locked up Manafort. They locked up, um, they're trying to get um, uh, uh, Bannon now. Uh, they locked up his, uh, uh, the, the trade guy with China. I forget his name. Um, he's, Peter Navarro. Yeah, Peter Navarro. They got Navarro locked up now. Now they got Trump. I mean, the people don't see what this is. What's the last time you saw somebody go to jail for contempt of Congress? Mm. How come Eric Holder's not in jail? Or Hunter Biden. Yeah. Bannon's going to jail. I know. Navarro's in jail. Trump's the first person in the history of the country they ever tried for what he tried him for. Oh, yeah, they coming. And what they're doing is shooting across the bow to see how we respond to it. Because if we don't respond to it, they're going to keep doing it. And right now, the people are responding in a way that they didn't expect. They see it. What it what it, what's 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 the old poem? They came for the for the for the yeah, labor I said, unionists. I said nothing. Yeah, I said nothing. And they, and they came for the soldiers. I said something. And they came for the Jews. And I said nothing. And they came for me. There's no one to speak for me. And that's why you and I speaking out and telling people whether you like Trump or not is irrelevant at this time. They're coming, and they're not going to stop. Because evil people and crazy people don't know how to stop. They don't stop until everybody's dead. If history tells us nothing, it tells us that. Adolf Hitler went until Germany was destroyed. Mussolini did the same. The crazy jokers in, in, in Japan did the same. They kept going until the nation was destroyed. These people have taken abortion from Roe v. Wade all the way to nine-month abortion. Now they're in perinatal abortion. You hear about that in California? Dang. No. They're voting for an abortion bill that will kill a child 28 days after it's born. What? Yes, it's in the house in California. Perinatal. 
after birth. Why? Because we, our argument was solid with them. Well, when does life begin? We call it kicking their butts. It begins at conception. You're okay. Well, we can come up in three months. Well, uh, well, 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 what about one? Well, what about five months? Well, okay. Da, da, da. Then, well, okay, you're right. We'll take it to the ninth month then. Well, if you can take it to the ninth month, why not after? You give them the submission to do that. You give them the submission to commit murder. Let's do it. It's logical, isn't it? Why not? Our logic is winning out. Tucker, and they're telling us, yes, you're right. We can kill them anytime we want to. The same thing with our logic when it came down to homosexuality and all this kind of stuff. They talk about, oh, no, people are born gay, but then they did the Human Genome Project, right? Didn't find no gay gene. They did the twin study. And uh, when, when one twin was gay, the other twin was gay only about maybe 20, 25% of the time. So it couldn't be in the DNA. You see what I'm talking about? So they start saying, no, what? No, it is a choice. You're right. But we've gotten the law passed now. They don't try to argue that any longer. It's irrelevant. The law's passed. And right now, since states can now um, uh, do whatever they want to do when it comes down to, to, to abortion, hell, I guess it's just a matter of legalism, isn't it? Like Dred Scott. Dred Scott is not a man that a white man need to, has no rights that a white man needs to adhere to. So you're telling, so you've told us with abortion, and this has always been amazing to me. I remember when Scott Peterson killed his wife, you remember Lacey? Yes. You remember he's charged with two murders, isn't he? Yes. How is that when the baby wasn't born yet? How is that? Because everybody knows that. Everybody knows. It's a person, of course. Everybody knows. But we have said that the mother has a right to kill that child whenever she chooses. So if it's a person here, it's a person. Oh, it's, it's, it's a person here. They know it. But we've allowed that legalism. We've allowed it to stay. And now we have to deal with it. So, I mean, it's it's human sacrifice. I think it's pretty obvious. Of course, it this, is. this is a religious right. Yes. Um, but at some point, you know, our our people are punished. Yes. For killing, for example, for sin, our nation's punished. Hmm. I think they're about God, and I don't. And I don't think it's God punishing them. I think that what happens is He takes His hands off, and you become a virtuous, a virtualist people and you start killing yourselves. Mm. Um, it was interesting, the, the commandment that says, honor thy father and thy mother, so your days will be long on this earth. And people always think that that means that God will punish you for not obeying your father and your mother. No, it is a harbinger. It, it, it tells you the type of person that you are. And my dad would say, if you do not honor and obey me, you won't honor and obey the police. You will not, you'll go outside this house and you'll disrespect the wrong person. And that wrong person is going to bust a cap in your head. So when you are disrespectful to your parents, it tells the type of spirit you have in you, an arrogant, prideful, disrespectful spirit. That's right. And that's going to get you in trouble outside of the house. And the people outside of the house don't love you like your mom and daddy do. And somebody's going to either lock you up or put you in jail or kill you. That means you have no respect for yourself. So you're going to be doing drugs. You're going to be out there fighting and acting a fool. So it's a harbinger. So when people kill their own children. You know, you tell them that you can kill them inside the womb. Well, why do you, uh, well, that means you can kill them uh, uh, outside of it too. So why do you think the murder rates are high in the black community? There's no virtue in life. You told them you can kill them inside the womb. So why can't I kill them outside the womb? So now we're killing one another. And now the nation is dying. And when you don't have any respect for life, you have no respect for anything else because that's the most important thing. Our Bible tells us, um, I lay before you blessings and curses, life and death. Choose life so that you and your children shall live. Choose life. We're choosing death. Democratic Party is a death cult. They know what they're doing. You take away the rights of people to keep and bear arms in a war zone, knowing that the police in Detroit is two hours away and the criminals know that. You have people riding down the dangerous highways and tell them they can't be armed and everybody on and every crook on that highway knows that. So if they see your car broke down, they know you don't have a gun and they can rob you. Carjackers in D.C. Why? Because they can't carry a gun in their car. Think criminals are stupid? Why do you think they carjack people in D.C. like that? You can't carry a gun in your car in D.C. Because they're defenseless. Yes. And who makes that happen? They know this. 
What did Machiavelli said? He said that there is no relationship between when there's no relationship between an armed and a disarmed man. Armed man has all the power. All of it. And when you disarm a person, he's no longer free. They know this. This is why when the British came here and I was in Boston, I was at Lexington Green where they confronted them and he said, Colonists, give up your arms. They said, come take them. They came to disarm them. Because they knew that, um, uh, uh, that, 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 that they could not subdue an armed population. They know once they get our guns, we have to capitulate to what they say. And wherever you find a large group of black people, what do they do? Take the guns away. Now, where did this start? Right at the end of the Civil War, where they wanted to make sure that the freedmen could be subdued and controlled. So they put out black codes that said black men could not have guns. All right. I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to stop it right there, bro, because I promise you, I can watch this junk all over again, bro. All over again, I can watch this junk, bro. Because Vince, he literally speaks truth. Like, this, this is the stuff that we need to hear. You know what I'm saying? He, he's not speaking stuff that's going to cater to people's feelings and cater to the black community. Like, no, he's speaking about the lies that are being sold to just America in general, bro. Even some white people, some white people in America believe the lie, believe the lies has been sold to black America. That's why they so black lives matter. That's why they're so for the black community because they're believing even the lies that are being sold to the black, uh, uh, black America. You know what I'm saying? So first thing First thing, when it comes to Trump, he he mentioned something about Trump. And the thing that I love the most <laughs> is that he gave, he gave like, man, I, 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 I don't know, but he gave facts, like the facts that they really trying to take Trump out. They really trying to take this man out. You know what I'm saying? He, people say that Biden was a Democrat, not people, uh, because the Democrats ain't people. I, I don't know. I don't know what they are. Like, they, they. I, I don't know no more, okay? But the the Democratic Party will say that Biden is the best president they had since uh since Obama, or better yet, they would say Obama is the best president that they had. Like they they the man had two terms. Like they they would say, well, you know what I mean. Like he had, he he ran twice. Like he won president twice, okay? But um, they they would say that Obama was the best. You know what I'm saying? They would say Obama was the best. He and then they would say Biden. Biden was Biden is good now. Like they would say all these nonsense things. But do do they not see the fact that Trump was actually the best president that we had in a minute, bro? He is the best president that we actually had in a minute. A president that was actually about America. A president that was actually for the uh, a president that was actually for the people. He wasn't for the whole. Uh, he wasn't just in it because it's like, oh, I got the uh, I I uh, I want money. I want this. I like no, bro. He was actually in it for the long haul. He was actually in it to make America great again. He was actually in it to to cut out the things that was placed in America that's not supposed to be here. Simply it put it like this: the people that's coming over here and being so entitled thinking that we're thinking that we're just supposed to let them into our country thinking that we're supposed to just give them every resource that we have those entitled immigrants that keep coming over here trump wants to hey no put that border up no this is what we're doing but again we got a president that that caters to everyone besides his own country he cares about every other country besides his own and that's why we in a predicament we in now you know what i'm saying that that's that's exactly why we here why we here uh where we at now because our president don't care for america the way that the way that trump was trying to care for america you know what i'm saying that's why they're trying to get rid of him bro that's that's exactly why they're trying to get rid of him seriously they they trying to put all these allegations against them. They trying to get this this this. They like just marking off their list of every single thing that's just everything that's going against them. Everything just marking it all off, marking it all off, marking it all, off, and then just throw it at them, throw it at them, and then he gets arrested for like, come on, let let just be real, bro. Look in between everything that's going on, bro. This this they, they really trying to get this man out of here, bro. Seriously, if they can't throw him in jail, they're going to try to kill him, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, they're going to try to kill him, bro. But anyways, um. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Let me know how y'all feel about uh, Vince Ellison because this man be speaking facts, bro. Like, I I, I low-key forgot I was reacting to a video. You see, I didn't pause. I was so in tune with everything he was saying, bro. It was... It's just it's really refreshing for me at a young age because I'm start I'm learning more I'm learning more about the country I'm in, and then also I can you know bring these bring this knowledge that I'm learning from different people who study or even the research that I the research that I do I can bring this knowledge to like my friends and tell them about the things that's going on so you know 
if they care about it. You feel me? But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe to my post notifications. Being your boy, the pen. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.